Okay, today we're going to learn how to set up dialysis tubing so that you can do an osmosis lab. Uh, first, let me run through some of the materials. Um, you're going to need, um, preferably, a beaker filled with water. I have a cup here. Um, and then uh, you're going to have your solution that you're going to be filling up the dialysis tubing with. You're going to need dialysis tubing, a ruler, a medium-sized pipette, some really thin rubber bands, and then a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that we're going to do for this lab is we're going to use our ruler here um, to cut about 12 centimeters of the dialysis tubing. So I'm just going to hold up the dialysis tubing here. Um, your dialysis tubing might be a lot more thin than this dialysis tubing. This is kind of thick. Uh, so, you know, just the width that you need for the experiment is your own choice. Um, so I'm just going to make this cut here. So I have about 12 centimeters. And um, right now it's flat. It's not a tube at all. You can see the edge here. It's almost sealed together. And this is actually a tube. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to place it in this water here. And we're going to let it sit in here for about two to three minutes. And uh, what will eventually happen is that the water will allow the tube to open so that we can fill it up. Let's give it about two or three minutes and we'll come right back. Okay, it's been two to three minutes later and you're just going to reach in to your um, water bath that you put the dialysis tubing in. And what we need to do is we need to hold this between our thumb and our forefinger and just kind of um, uh, rub it back and forth. A lot of times it helps if you do this in the water. And as you rub it back and forth, what's going to happen is this tubing is actually going to open up and separate. So you can keep doing that until the entire tube is open. And now it's all open. So that now I actually have a tube. Um, for our experiment that we're going to be doing, we need to turn this into um, a model cell that contains a solution inside. So in order to do this, I need to tie off uh, both ends of the bag and put solution in the uh, middle of the bag so that it can be our model cell. So what I'm going to do is after I've separated this all out, I can pull it away from the water now, um, I'm going to take the edge of the baggie and one of these really thin rubber bands, put it around and just make a very, very tight um, seal here at the end so that when I fill this up with solution, none of it's going to escape out of the end of this uh, dialysis bag. And you will wrap these around several times. So it's kind of important that you get a thin rubber band and then also a rubber band that doesn't stretch out very much so that you'll save yourself some time wrapping it. Okay, I've made a really secure um, end here. And now the next step I have to do is I have to take this open end and fill it with our solution. Now in this experiment, we're gonna be filling this with a 15% sugar solution, which I've prepared right here. Um, it's up to you how you wanna do this. Some people can drop the solution in really well with a thin graduated cylinder. Um, if your dialysis tubing is really narrow, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a pipette just so that you don't make a large uh, mess. So I've um, opened up the tube, as you can see, and I'm just gonna take my solution here and I'm gonna drop it into the bag. If you have larger pipettes at your school or your facility, wherever you are preparing this at, um, they might fill up the bag a little bit quicker. This is what I had on hand today, so i give it one more. And now I've got a bag. Now one of the important things you need to realize is that for this experiment, we're gonna have changes in this model cell. So I don't wanna make this too tight down here. I also don't wanna make it too loose because we wanna be able to see some observable changes when we use this in um, the investigation. So I just kinda make a little bit uh, air in the top of the bag. It's still pliable um, so that if it gains mass from water going into the bag, uh, it'll have some room to expand. And then I'm gonna tie off the top just like I did with the bottom.
and there you have it. We have a fill, filled dialysis tubing, which can now be used for an, an osmosis lab. Uh, there's a little extra here on the ends. If you wanted to trim that, that's up to you. But otherwise, this will be perfectly good to be used in an osmosis lab.